Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn about a very common use case, a very common requirement that we get in service cloud implementation in Salesforce. That is basically we need to send a custom notification via the uh, Salesforce notifications uh, to the case owners that uh, there is a new email on your case. Okay, so basically the case owner should be able to track any new or upcoming emails in Salesforce via this Salesforce notification icon. Okay, so uh, what are the benefits of it? First of all, uh, reduce dependency on the emails. Let's just face it, we don't want to be uh, spammed with 100 emails a day, okay? So if you want to track uh, the new emails on our cases, we can just go to this notification icon and we can find out about the new emails. So there will be no spamming in our inbox, okay? Secondly, we don't need to switch between apps, okay? We don't need to go from Salesforce to Gmail or Salesforce to Yahoo and then come back. We can just find out about all the emails in our Salesforce app in our Salesforce uh, itself uh, in this notification icon okay thirdly uh, if you're using a Salesforce mobile app then we can send it as a push notification also uh, like the other apps like Twitter Instagram and Facebook so we can do that also and fourth on the most important thing what we learn in this is uh, how we can create custom notifications in Salesforce okay so if you want to learn about how you can create custom notification how you can use this notification icon to show the new emails to the case owners and not just spam their inboxes and all the new things that I just talked about then stay tuned to this video and before going forward if you're new to this channel or if you have not subscribed to this channel yet click on the subscribe button will be awesome and it will appreciate me to create more and more videos and use cases for you now without any further ado let's dive straight into it okay so uh, before starting the flow we need a custom notification to be shown there on the icon okay so for that we'll go to notification builder and create a custom notification so let's go there on uh, setup notification builder custom notification let's go to this icon this option sorry uh, let's create a new one case notification oops spelling is wrong case notification uh, supported channels desktop and mobile both and let's just save it Okay, so we have just created a new case notification. Now let's see how you can use it. Okay, now just uh, let's just create our flow. Okay, so this will be a record triggered flow because uh, we want to trigger this anytime a case is anytime a uh, record to an email object is created. Okay, so let's click on the new flow button, record triggered flow, create object will be email object email message object okay a record is created set entry conditions uh, all conditions are met so what will be the condition uh, incoming equals to true okay and why this condition is there because uh, we just want to create a notification when the email type is incoming okay so email message in salesforce are used for incoming and outgoing emails but we don't want this notification for an outgoing email we want this for incoming emails so uh, incoming equals to true and then just done okay okay so after that the most important thing is how to use the send custom notification okay so let's drag action and there are some fields that are required so for that we need some data uh, in action we'll click on notification and here we'll see send custom notification okay so here you can see we have uh, many fields that are required which is custom notification type id notification body title and a uh, recipient id okay so first of all we'll uh, gather those and then we'll add this action uh, the first will be custom notification type id let me tell you how we can get that to get the custom uh, record ID, which was the first field, uh, let's take the get record element, okay? And let's type here get custom record ID. And from which object we'll get it? So this object in Salesforce custom 
record type I guess custom notification type okay yeah so from the custom notification type we want the ID where developer name so there's a field developer name equals to now we have to add the API that was the API of our custom notification that we have created before which was case notification okay once again let's just check again to be double sure custom notification yes the API name is case notifications record automatically stored all the fields and that is done okay so now in this get record uh, let's just set it also in this get record we have our custom record ID okay but in this get record we have all the fields of from that object okay so if you want the custom uh, record ID we will type get record ID dot ID okay okay now the next we want is recipient ID so in the email message object there is a field parent uh, in which we save the case ID for which we want to send the email okay to get that let's create a new collection variable and in that we'll just save the IDs text type um, let's name it email IDs data type will be text allow multiple values and just done okay now what we'll do is we'll take an assignment element to just get the ID and put the ID in the collection variable that we have just created. This is the assignment element. Let's name it assign recipients. Okay. And uh, email IDs dot add equals to record basically email message dot owner id sorry dot case id this dot owner id okay so these are the fields you basically need to remember now there are two more fields which was notification title and notification body what will be the notification title and what will be in the body okay Okay, so we can of course hard code it the title and the body but I am using a formula type to add the case number to it as well. So it will be more appropriate for the owner to know which case uh, we are talking about or for which case we have gotten the email. Okay, so let's create a formula field here. New resource. Formula. Notification body data type will be text okay new email message received for case and then we can just add the I think we have to add single quotes also here I'm not sure. Let's see once again. It will be like this. And let's just give a space. And here we will add record dot parent dot case number. Yes, right here. Uh, I guess this will be done. Let's just see. Let's click on done create our action again uh, action notification send custom notification sending email notification API will be there for custom notification type ID what we will do is custom notification our get record dot ID um, one second this one okay for notification body we have notification body for notification title i'm just adding the body you can add anything else email ids 
I guess this is the one. We have email IDs. Now, uh, for target ID, ID, basically we just need to add record dot ID. And that is done. Let's click on done. That will be just the ID of the email message object that is firing the flow. Okay. Now let's just add it here. Flow is done. Let's just save it. Um, case notification flow. And save it. Let's activate it also. Okay guys, that's all. Uh, your flow is done. So this is the flow. It will run on the email message object. It will get the customer ID. It will get the recipient ID and it will uh, create a new send custom notification which will send the notification to the case owner when an email with the incoming type will be received. Regarding the cases they are working on, they will receive a notification um, here in this notification icon okay so that is it for today i hope you like this example i hope you are loving the flow series i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye take care and keep learning